Hello, um, welcome. I've just had a couple of requests of a couple of people to do a quick review on this. People saw it on one of my guns and just wondered what it was. Now, um, I do a bit of long range shooting and uh, a bit of foxing and that, so uh, I need a bipod. What this is, is this is the uh, Sinclair F Class bipod. Um, it's available from Sinclair Direct from the USA, or in a, in the UK, it's uh, you can get it through uh, Reloom Solutions. If you phone up and uh, speak to them, they'll do that for you. Um, they're about £170 off the top of my head, so they're not cheap. But once I think, once you use them, and once you see the advantage of, of them, I think that's money well spent. Well, uh, in the past, we've all been used to the Harris bipods. And don't get me wrong, they are bloody good. This one is the little 6 to 9 one with the uh, swivel on it. Now, go and prune in grass, they can be a bit job, bit of a job if they're not tall enough. Then if you take the 9 to 14, they're a little bit too tall. So, I mean, there's a bit of a compromise there. Um, but I have got the Harris. But I've now, since then, invested in one of these. And I think that's going to be a bit, bit better long term. Straight away, you can see the advantage of it. It's wider. Yeah, admittedly, it's a bit more bulky, but um, I find that you're getting less yaw, and it's a lot more stable on the um, on the front, especially if you're using bags. Right. Um, just make sure. Always make sure your rifles are not loaded. In this case, I'll take the bolt out just to make doubly sure. Um, the bipod fits, I don't know if you can see that on there, it's got a hole where the front stud would drop down uh, through your swing swivel, swivel, a bar will go and then you tighten that up on the bottom with null keys, uh, you know the little twist locks, right let me show you, bit of a handful but you get used to them, right It's also got, um, I'll show you in a minute, uh, a cant device on it, which is I always find at the back. So it's a bit of a faff. But once it's there, Just do it up nice and snug. Don't need to over tighten it, just break and something will pull your front swivel out of your fore end, that would really piss you off. Right, that's there now. As you can see. Now, if you're prone and you've got a rear bag, that ain't going nowhere. If you're on a bit of a hill, give it a tighten off, and you've got full. I don't know if you can see that. You got a full cant on that with a podlock on the back. That's what was the word I was looking for. Podlock on the back, so you can lock it at an angle. And the other great feature of this, of course, you might see them wobbling about, is you can adjust the height of the legs. There's about six inches of adjustment on the legs, and uh, that is even that even that high. There's a high centre of gravity. It's still very very stable because of the width. Um, if you're in long grass and you need to, if you're prone and you need to shoot something at the distance in grass or you know on the level and you're in grass, it's nice to get a bit of height. You can always put your old duffel bag or knapsack under there and get nice and level. They ain't quite tall enough to shoot uh, kneeling. But certainly, yes, comfortable prone. Um, on mine, well, the only thing I've changed is on the bottom. I've just super glued some rubber because used not on the Land Rover bonnet. That pisses the governor off when they're all scratched because they come as a metal. It's all alloy. It, it weighs about six, seven pound in weight. I mean, it adds no. It, it it's a little bit heavier on the front. But um, with a moderator and a heavy scoop, anyway, the rifle isn't exactly uh, light. 
But that's uh, my take of the uh, Sinclair F-Class bipod. Thank you.